This is a tutorial on how to use your web browser. So on your desktop, uh, our first tutorial we looked at where stuff is stored in the home and trash and now below that there's a web button here uh, to start the web. The link is also found at the bottom of the screen. There's a web button at the bottom. So I'm going to double click on web and it opens up your web browser and in the schools it starts on the school's website. So right now I'm at Bird Edwards Science and Technology School and it started on the Science and Technology School's website. Uh, in the top right corner there's a Google search box up here. So if I was doing some research on horses, I can search for horses and it'll come up with pictures and links on horses. Oftentimes Wikipedia um, has good articles and it's usually up near the top of your search results. Um, to go back you click on the back arrow and it takes you back to the last page. Um, usually these school sites in the School District 73 most schools are switching to a thing called Moodle which allows the school to take control of their home page and anybody in the school can um, if they have rights post articles to it so we'll just go and look at the main menu we have site news which is the news down the center um, you can see the site news is going down the center here uh, if we clicked on library in the main menu we can go straight to your school's library and look for books if we uh, click on online sources this is a directory of online links. So if you've ever tried to get 30 kids to type in an address in the address bar to get to a website um, like this, it takes a lot of time. So instead let's just create a directory for the district where um, you guys can send us the links, put them in different categories, and the kids can just click right into them. So we're back to the school's website. <coughs> Again, Bert Edwards Science and Technology School. Um, their school websites also usually include calendars, which are upcoming events. So there's a young people's conference on was on the 17th, um, and some of the teachers that are um, enthusiastic they create courses, online course content, quizzes, and stuff uh, for their uh, students, and they can get to it through a web page at school or at home. Um, the other part of the web browser I should mention is um, the tab button. This came out in web browsers a few years ago and it allows you to do multiple websites at the same time. So I'm going to run my search again on horses and <coughs> what this is you'll see two tabs at the top. One is the Bird Edwards Science School and the other one is my research on horses. And the idea is just like in a book on the binding you can put tabs down the side so that you can kind of bookmark different parts or, or um, uh, work on multiple things at the same time, flip back and forth. So with tabs you can um, switch back and forth uh, between multiple websites at the same time. So we'll close that. The reason why I point out tabs is because sometimes when we get calls on our help desk saying I'm clicking on a website and it's not showing up, it's because it's showing up in a tab at the top of the page. Uh, the other help desk call we'll get is um, sometimes people will open a website and they're saying it's not showing up, it's nowhere to be found. And it's down here in the taskbar. So you, you see down at the bottom it's showing that the program's been minimized and you can maximize it up and be able to continue with your web browsing and your research. So that was web browsing and when you close with multiple tabs it'll ask you do you want to close all these tabs I'll say yes. So that was web browsing and um, we'll continue these tutorials as we go along. Thank you for your time.